32 male, wife 34 female dated someone else during first year of dating, I found out. I'm still in shock about this entire situation and I don't know what to do. Sorry for the wall of text. Wife and I have been together for almost 5 years, we do have a child now. We met on a popular dating app. During the initial stages of our relationship, she made it clear that she did not want to commit and was just having fun as she had planned to eventually move away for school. I agreed to this because sure, why not? As we continued to date, we started getting closer and closer, started seeing each other every day per second day, to the point of each of us admitting that we loved one another. Eventually, she asked if I was seeing anyone else, and I admitted that there was no one, she was all I was interested in, but figured she was seeing someone. She told me no, that she was really falling for me, and she wasn't interested in seeing anyone else and was falling for me. However, since she just got out of a long-term relationship, she didn't feel comfortable putting a label on us. We continued to date, see each other more frequently, and I was falling more in love with her. I knew I was probably making a mistake, because of the fact that she still didn't want to put a label on anything. During this time, she would go on trips, but obviously, I didn't think too much about them, she would say she was going to visit family, etc. Eventually, as it was getting closer to the time she was planning on moving, she started to prepare as such. She also hinted at doing a long distance relationship, but I didn't have much interest in doing so, because her move was permanent, and I had my family and job in the city. It was really hard, but we continued to date anyways because we enjoyed each other's company. She continued to imply that we were exclusive without using the actual words, I understand the technicality of this and my ignorance, trust me. The week of her departure, she finally said that she wanted to do long distance, and I agreed since we were in love. Figured we could somehow make it work because we were so in love, and why not try? To show that I was serious, I bought a ticket to fly out in about two months time for a visit. Less than two days after she left, she sent me a big string of messages, saying how she didn't think I could do long distance based on our previous conversation, that she loved me and wanted what was best for me, and that was to break up. I tried to rebut, but she was fairly adamant. It was an extremely hard time for me, but I figured, hey, this was the plan before. It's tough, but you enjoyed your time together. I also have family where I bought the ticket, so I figured I might as well go regardless. Over the next few months, I didn't fully block her, but anytime she sent a message I was fairly short in my replies, not open to conversation. Figured it was for the best. I also met someone else and we started dating for a month. I could see this new person as becoming serious, but I was taking things slower, because of what happened. Eventually, I left on my trip and, obviously knowing that I was coming to her city, she reached out to get together and hang out as friends. I knew it was probably a bad idea, since it was so tough to get over her and I was already starting to date again, but I went to see her anyways because love. We spent most of the trip together, doing couple things, enjoying each other's time, and near the end of it, she claimed she made a mistake and wanted to be with me in an exclusive relationship long distance. I initially declined because I was seeing someone else that I was interested in, something she held over my head for years, and had no desire to be long distance. She told me that she was unable to date after we broke up, and she never slept with anyone, it was me and it has always been me since she met me. She offered to fly out the following weekend and during that week, she offered to move back to be with me since she was in love wanted to be exclusive with me and it has only been me since we first saw each other. To her credit, she dropped everything to come back. Long story short, she moved back, we eventually moved in together, got married and had a child. She insisted for years that she wished she asked me to be exclusive during our dating time and insisted that our anniversary was on the date we met. We were in love and everything felt great, until two weeks ago. She asked me to clean out her old computer, and that was when I accidentally came across some nude videos made during the time we were initially together and they definitely seemed like they were made for someone, none of which I've ever seen during our time. I was shocked and angry. I eventually told her of what I saw, of which she immediately said that she was too ashamed to admit it, but that she was doing camming during the time we were first dating. Honestly, if she was upfront about it, I would not have continued to date her, I know it's not very expositive, but it's the truth, and I told her this. She had an answer for every question I had about it, down to the website, but even though I was starting to come to terms with it, something still seemed off. I hate to admit this, but feeling like a paranoid and crazy person, I eventually told her I needed proof from that time. She offered to show me different pieces of proof, but none of it still made any sense. 
She let me look in her email and that's where I found screenshots that she saved of conversations she had with someone else. Up until this point, she kept trying to say it wasn't what it looked like, she wasn't seeing him, she never slept with him, he was just a guy she met off of social media. These screenshots basically indicated that she was seeing someone long distance exclusively during the entire time that we were dating, those trips she took were to go spend time and sleep with him. All the nude videos she took were all sent to him. The screenshots were filled of her undying love to him and how they could ultimately be together and that he was the only one she had ever loved. The final saved conversation was of him saying that he couldn't be exclusive, and that they should end things. This was dated at the time shortly before she contacted me after she left. I feel so betrayed, I did not get to make an informed decision about our relationship because she withheld every piece of truth about everything. I know that we were not labeled exclusive, but it seems like every word she said was a lie. This also includes what she has said over the years of us being together and her reminiscing of our initial dating period. The numerous lies and manipulation, without missing a beat, about everything the past week seems to seal the deal, that I was misled about our relationship. I know she loves me now, I don't think she has been unfaithful, but I don't know if I can get over this even with being married or having a child. Does divorce seem like an overblown reaction to this? I just feel so betrayed. Now for the top advice. Sounds like you found out you were the backup plan, as she contacted you after her first choice rejected exclusivity. As you said, if you knew this stuff beforehand, you wouldn't be with her, and the only reason you are finding out now is she believes you will be invested enough to stay. She lied to you. It is completely understandable that you feel betrayed, as you were, and I would be out of there. Sorry this happened to you. This is seriously so saddening to read, I wouldn't stay in a relationship with a foundation of lies. It would be too heart-wrenching to forgive my partner and look at them with the same kind of love. She knew no one else would love her like him, so she did all this. She knew. She knew damn well. She is sorry she got caught, not the fact that she actually did it. Till the last moment, she's just lying. I feel like she's hiding other stuff too. How do you look at someone you love and hide this much from them? This is a huge red flag, it's not a small lie. I feel so bad for OP. I really wish you can think about your decisions in a clear mind and calculate what's best for you, bro. I personally, wouldn't stay at all. Considering she's lying even after she's caught, even when it doesn't make sense. This would be a cause for divorce for my marriage. I'm not someone's backup plan, and the years of lying. I'd rather co-parent than deal with living with someone who can lie so easily. Not legal advice, echoing the paternity test and discussion about divorce. Contacting an attorney would be wise if you want to be on the safe side, as there are timing slash limitation issues that rise once you become aware of this. Also, this could be grounds for annulment due to fraud slash misrepresentation etc. Also, really sorry this happened and wishing you the best. Are you planning on doing a DNA test on the child? I'd suggest you do, so that you can have an upper hand in the divorce procedure in custody. You're saying that she loves you now, but you were fooled before into thinking that she loved you back then. You say that she hasn't been unfaithful, but she fooled you into thinking she wasn't sleeping around when you both got along, or were talking. Now everything looks like a plain piece of lie. There's no proof that she has been a good spouse since then. I don't know why people have to mention whether they're exclusive or not in this era. If you're romantically interested in someone, and are continuing to talk to him and getting to know him, why do people not have enough decency or moral values to not sleep around? Do people lack even that much of common sense? No amount of therapy or anything is going to repair this marriage now, as there wasn't a real marriage from the start. Your kid, hopefully he should be, should be your main focus now. Also, one more question, were you completely oblivious that all this was going on behind your back, because she can't single-handedly continue an affair behind your back that easily? Didn't you meet her friends and family? Why do I get the feeling that there are some accomplices in this escapade, and knew everything and yet didn't tell you anything? Thanks for the reply. The little one is definitely mine, no question about that. Your last question, I did meet all of her family during that time, doesn't have many friends, they all knew. The next story is titled. I, 27 male, found out that my wife, 28 female, cheated on me 10 years ago. My wife and I are high school sweethearts. We have dated since then, and after 10 years, we finally got married. We have now been married for two and a half years. Yesterday, she told me about sleeping with one of my friends in the first couple years of our relationship. Just out of high school and we were not living together at the time. 
she says it was only four times with the same person in about a week's time frame. This was during a time where she said she felt neglected by me, and that it is her greatest regret. Now, another six or so years ago, there was another incident. She has a terrible time making friends, and honestly, has not had any for a very long time. Like none. I am the only person she hangs out with. Like ever. I have tons of friends and do things with them, but she has zero. It really saddens me. She has terrible self-esteem issues and is socially awkward. There was a guy that she thought she was becoming friends with, and he kissed her. She said she immediately felt regret and left. I found out about him when her phone got a text, and I was next to it at the time. I confronted her and we argued, but ultimately, I forgave her. She said that all that happened was the kiss, and then she got out of there before anything else happened. She told him to not come around anymore, and that nothing should have happened. This is also at a time she says she felt neglected. She is absolutely right. We were only having intimacy maybe once or twice a year, and I was focused on my hobbies instead of her. I, being the moron that I am, did not see any of this coming. I thought we were fine, but I now know how stupid I was. Anyways, a month later, the guy shows up at my place of work freaking out and wanting to talk to me. The managers throw me in the back of the store, and kick the guy out. She gets scared and starts having security walk her to her car at night, and he even slashed my tires one night. Guy was a real psychopath. We move to a different place soon after, and she ignores all attempts at contact from him. He really scared her. We filed police reports and everything. Time goes on, but I was always suspicious that there may have been other things I didn't know about. Who wouldn't be? I have asked a million times since the more recent incident if anything else ever happened. The answer was always a no. For the past six years, it has always been a no. Yesterday, she finally came clean about the really early incidents. She came home and started writing and crying. I knew what was coming. She said she couldn't look at me and tell me, so she wrote her confession and left the room to sob some more. I read that she had cheated on me with a friend of mine and had kissed one other guy around the same time. I asked for the details of all the encounters and she told me. At least I think she told me. And didn't leave anything out. My heart is broken. I have been lied to for the past 10 years by the person I trusted most. I have never felt so much pain. I can believe that she regrets her actions, and that she is not the same person as she was just out of high school. I am sure as hell a different person now. And I guess that I can forgive the act itself, as a stupid teenage girl making mistakes. I have made my mistakes too. Never infidelity, but mistakes nonetheless. How do I ever trust my wife again? I would have to be crazy to do such a thing right? How can I ever believe that she is being completely honest with me ever again? She truly seems to regret her actions, and she did finally tell me, I guess. What should I do? Here's the main dilemma. I know most people's advice would be, that there are other fish in the sea. That once a cheater, always a cheater. But I have a problem. I truly, deeply, unquestionably love my wife. Not attraction or familiarity, but true love. The way her mind works, the way she cares for me. The way we strive to make each other better people, everything. Her secret encounters and terrible self-esteem, are literally the only blemishes. But these are big blemishes. She lied to me for so long. But at the same time, she could have kept lying and I never would have known. She did tell me, and I really hope that she did tell me everything. But there is no way for me to know. She says she didn't tell me because she thought that I would leave her. She says she wants to do whatever it takes to earn my trust back. She wants to go to a therapist for her issues. I had recommended this before, but I don't think she ever thought that I was being serious. I have tried to help her self-esteem, but it seems so deeply rooted that I don't know what it would take to fix. I don't know what to do. I love my wife and want her to be better and stronger. I am just tired of going through my life trying to be my best self, and then being the one who carries the most pain. Now for the top advice. She not only cheated on you, but lied to you for 10 whole years. If you truly can convince yourself that your wife won't do something like this again, even though like you said, for the most part, once a cheater always a cheater, then you need to ask yourself if you can ever rebuild the trust. What she did is horrible. Remember that. That's part of the problem. I can't convince myself on anything right now. I want to believe that there is some good in her. I want to believe that we can grow and become stronger from this. Can't people change for the better? Or am I just trying to hold on to a person that I love? Why is that a bad thing? It's not. You love her and I completely understand your feelings. Of course, people can change for the better. In fact, since just after high school, 
the odds are, your wife is very different and far more mature. But the bottom line is, it happened. If you do want my opinion, I think once someone has the capability to do something like that in their nature, they are always capable of doing it again. What you have to decide now, is whether or not you can live the rest of your life knowing it happened with her. Will you trust her when she leaves town for a few days? Will you trust her if she says that new guy at work is just a friend? If not, you know what needs to be done. These are some tough questions, but they are questions that need to be answered. Give your thoughts some time, you've been married for so long. Don't make some impulse decision. Given your situation, I wouldn't be as concerned about the high school cheating. You're not even the same people now that you were then. She should have taken that to her grave, I actually see that confession as almost selfish, she's tired of carrying the guilt to spare your feelings. Based on the total picture, I have my doubts about the incident that took place 6 years ago. I'd be more concerned about that now if I were you. The only ways forward are therapy, breakup, or misery. Would it have been better to not know ready to learn from a mistake instead of just keeping it a dark secret? Is she truly worth the effort? You're a total doormat. It pains me to say it, and I'm sorry to be blunt, but your story sounds a little pathetic. I pity you. You are not in a loving relationship, she is crapping all over you while you roll over and take it. Please, please find the strength to cut out this tumor, you aren't even one third of the way through your life, don't make the rest of it miserable. This wasn't an accident. Your wife made a conscious decision to have intercourse with someone else, repeatedly, lie about it, and try to make you think it was your fault. She is scum. I'm so sorry, and I hope you get away from this sorry excuse for a woman. Your words are extremely harsh, but I am glad that I read them. Your opinion seems like the logical and obvious one. There is just something inside me that tells me that it is wrong. I have to believe that people can learn from mistakes, and I truly believe that she thinks they were mistakes, or what's the point at all. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one.